and waves, they like stop. They look like super big, then they just like stop. Oh, oh, I'm on. Dude, Joey, I got one. Is that a fish? Yeah, Joey, I'm on. Joey. You are? <laughs> Do I need to get the net? Oh, it's a bourbon and I snagged it. Oh, no. oh get the, get the... The uh, net. I don't know, maybe you went for it. I got a bourbon. I don't know if that's gonna fit. Huh. We'll try. Okay. No, that's not gonna fit. Here, maybe I'll take them all the way over here. All right, keep an eye on those. Come on, bourbon. Let me try again. No, he won't fit. Shoot. Okay, let's go this way. Come on. No, I right, grab that little camera on the post. Dude, I'm hooked up. Dude, I got a bourbon. I don't know if he went for it or I snagged him. Come on, brother. You can get him off. Let me take this. Yeah. I gotta try and snag the lure. Where yeah. Get Where'd that other group go? Do they have a better hey, net? That guy's got a fish. Hey, look at he's got a fish. I could try that. I'll try that. See if I can get him from the tail and if he pulls his tail off. Yeah, get him in a tail, and then... Dang. Yeah. Ah, his net is too little. We'll go over here. Come on, Burbit. I'm walking my Burbit. Dude, the current goes the wrong way here, too. I need a better net. Holy. Come on, Burbit. You think he went for it or wait, not? Wait, I know where we can get him. Back. No, there's no like. Over here. I know. Let me look. No, Joey, I can get down over here. Trust me. Down there. Yeah. I gotta go like under, yeah. I gotta go right there. Yeah, there's two ways there. I know, but what do you want me to do? Get up. Hold my rod. Oh right. boy. <sighs> Stay up by the high pole. I know. Alright, there we go. Hopefully I don't lose stuff. Come here, Burbit. Don't drop the camera. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
that. I got it. All right. <laughs> Look at how long that guy. Yeah, great. Come get up before you get eaten by waves. Look at that burbot. Let's go. Holy. He went for it. He had to go for it, don't you think? Yeah. Look at that. Bye, burbot. All right. <laughs> he caught one. Well, that net sucks. I and mean, then I need a new net. Well, I don't know if he went for it or not. I'll be honest. I'm not sure. Let me show you what I'm using. This is a jigging spoon. The water is super dirty today. You can see behind me. But so I picked the, the brightest jigging spoon I could get. And I was jigging just right next to the wall. And that's how I got that burbot. I've got dead minnows out there. That's what I thought I would get them on. But hey, we'll take that. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. There's the mouth of the harbor. That's where you get out. There are some big waves out there. You can even see where the line of mud or the Whoa, dirty water meets one. the... Yeah, you can see the line where the dirty water meets the clear water. Yeah, that's what's happening all day. Just big waves. Today. So, there's all my stuff. I have three minnows and one worm out there right now. But the jigging spoon is when I caught it, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It's so murky here. That's good for the burbot. Oh, maybe we'll get another one. That was cool. I want to get one more. Get Joey on a fish. Look at Joe. I don't know what Joe's doing. But he's having fun over there. If I get hooked up, he's got a long way to run. <laughs> you want to see my setup? This is a Titan 2 4000 Runkle. I got 20 pound braid on. And this is a cherry wood rod. It is the cheapest rod I could find. Seven foot medium action at Fleet Farm. Hey, Eric Hadia, you should fish with me because I caught a fish on a hot spoon. I saw you fishing with them a ton, and I don't know, have you caught a burbot on one of these things? <laughs> Pick super bright because it's so muddy. You know, you want the fish to be able to see it. I guess you call this a dirty bait, a dirty jigging spoon. Come on, bottom rigs, do something. Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Come on, go crazy. Oh, look at these. Yeah, that's an old dock. That's sketchy. Yeah, that's the old dock. It used to be there. Let's see if they're good way. That they draw water from that for the um, power plant, I think. Yeah, I caught a brown trout in there. I was using a jerk bait, and I caught a brown trout, believe it or not. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes! Oh, you pretty fish. Look at this guy. I know that in November and December the burbot come to Milwaukee, but I wonder if they like it here more or not as much because of the warm water discharge. Right over there is a warm water discharge from the power plant. And yeah, I wonder if that encourages them or not. Dude, that was cool. Jig and spoon burbot. No way. That's awesome. Fortunately, I couldn't put this guy on a fish. We gotta call it a day. I'm going to see the box, baby. That's right. So I'm heading home. If you wanna see us smash some burbot here, later in the year, we went last year and caught a ton in December. It's November right now, it's a little early. So yeah, watch this video or, you know, subscribe. See ya.